Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Christian here, back with a brand new video on Sneaker Talk 365. I have a special guest. He hasn't been on this channel in a minute. What's up guys, how y'all doing? My name is Big Boy Chang, AKA <laughs> Legit Vlogs, AKA the real Seth Roy Ray TV.com. If you guys haven't seen our recent video, we did a uh, shopping trip to the San Marcos Nike outlets. And Tim, what did you do at the outlets? Okay, so basically I had this cool idea that I was like, yo, what if we bought out the entire Nike store? Obviously that wasn't gonna happen. But then I thought of another idea. I said, what if we bought every single Air Jordan they had at the Nike store? Mm -hmm. And that is just what we did today. So let me give them a little, a little uh, explanation. So basically mm -hmm. you go into the Nike outlet and you see the regular boxes, but then you're wondering where the Jordans are at, okay? Yeah. And so basically they told me that the employees in the back have this thing known as a heat locker Basically consists of returns or you know other shoes that you know They consider heat and mm -hmm. they put in the heat locker And so they always give us access because I'm real cool with them and they brought out a bunch of heat and basically I decided for my video that we would buy all of it. And how much money did you spend? So it was around 2,000 US dollars oh my or 5,000 Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that the most you've ever spent at a Nike outlet? That has to be the most that I've ever spent. Crazy. Honestly. First oh, pair right oh. here, we got a size 10 mm -hmm. in this Jordan box. Of course, if you guys know your Jordans, you guys know what box this is. Bam, get a good whiff of that. Ooh. Smell oh, like that new, new Jordan new shoes. Smell. So we got the Air Jordan 5 Laney. A little bit of carpet material on the front. You got the speckling on the bottom. I like the original Laney's. I don't like these the white, too the white ones. Right? Yeah, the white ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the tongue. There's like oh, a. Oh, were they? The tongue has like a little furry material on it. Stepping up to bat with our next pair of shoes, we got a pair of the Air Jordan International Ooh. Ting. Eh? Air Jordan International Ooh. Ting. Eh? So you guys already know International Collection was super dope. Mm -hmm. Yo, I didn't even know I bought these. Dude, I knew I you bought these. I didn't even know I bought these. I thought I bought the fives, the nah, International Fives. they did not have the fives. Yo, the International 12s right here. Mm -hmm. Now this is a sneaker to look at, man. This one has some really cool prints. It kind of looks like almost like snake skin going across the front. You got like some weird patterns on the side. Just something that they would really use in Asia. We got mm -hmm. the LeBron Superman's right here. Now it is predicted that LeBron is going to play Superman in the upcoming DC versus uh, Batman movie. <laughs> and we got the Superman colorway that wraps mm -hmm. all around. Really nice patent leather on these things. LeBron sign right there, the lion. I don't think they've used the lion in his most recent shoes. I don't Yo! Oh, they still forgot the tag? Bro! Damn. Tim bought so many shoes. They forgot to take that security tag. Are from you kidding me right shoe. now? You can't Are even you rock kidding these. me right now? With the patent leather, with the white material, I feel like these shoes can be ruined very easy. You can mm -hmm. scuff them. You can put you know dirt all over them. And I just feel like these, uh, the particular colorway, you got to be very careful when stepping out in these. Air Jordan splash on the box in red, mm -hmm. so it splashes off the red box. We got da -da 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 with the special wrapping paper. Mm. Blam. Disappointed or nah? I'm I'm very disappointed in this release. They could have done so much better. Tim, what do you think? I think the leather's trash. I think the laces are trash. Bro, honestly, man. I, like, mean, I like the colorway, the black, white, and red, but it's just the print is weird, man. Yeah, the print's pretty weird, man. It looks almost like a newspaper or something. I don't even know. Do you bro. know the nickname for this one? Um, no. No. These are actually the Air Jordan 4 newspapers, so you got it right. Really? No, they're, they're not. These what are, are actually the Air Jordan 4 tattoo. It actually has like a print all over that looks like a basketball with black and white. They're really cool, like in theory, but actually wearing them is just a little bit too crazy. Yeah, no, for you're me. right, you're right. It's, it's I mean, like it's like if they me. were gonna do a tattoo, they should have been inspired by Michael Jordan's body. Yeah. Not know? by like Like basketball. the Jumpman booty, just a bunch of Jumpman booties on the shoe. All right, next up we got some Kyrie 5. Kyrie Irving. Some up to date basketball sneakers. Tim, you may do the honors. Blam, we got the Kyrie 5 in this all colorful splish splash colorway with, you know, a very nice quilt on the back, kind of like a pillow material on the bottom. Of course, taste the rainbow. You got the uh, red, you got the yellow, you got the splashes of purple. And uh, honestly, man, um, shout out to Kyrie. You know, one time for the one time. So right here originally, man, I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't know what they were, but taking them out of a box, mm -hmm. I knew that these were really, really popular. Um, it says improvise, scavenge, protect, and adapt. Christian, yep. take it away, bro. So these are actually based off of the Nike React Element 55 model. Very, very popular sneaker, but this time they go for more of a tech wear kind of look. 
So they have some like elements of patches on the side right here. We got some random orange straps on the side, giving off some off-white deconstructed vibes. Not really a fan of this tongue. Feels really floppy and flimsy in my opinion, but it is a nice little switch up compared to the regular Element React 55. Three more pairs down here, and then we got the two best pickups for last. So stick around to the very end of the video for the best two pickups, and then we'll let you guys know the extra discount that the Nike outlet gave us. Okay, so, honestly, man, this box is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I bought this. I just kind of wanted to buy all of them for the video because yeah. I thought it would be dope. Check out the paper, though, yo. Dang. Check out the paper on this. Glossy, flossy, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, these shoes are actually pretty dope. They are women's shoes. They are one of the new models that Nike has came out with. As you can see, the air bubble technology has a little bit of glitter in there, has a little bit of splashes of blue. Uh, almost looks like there's a speaker on the side of your shoe. Uh, if you're a woman, I think that you would uh, love this shoe. I think that you can wear it to the gym. This is a shoe a lot of you guys have been asking me my thoughts on. These are the Air Max 720s, and this is a woman's exclusive colorway. Now, my opinion, I think these look better on girls. So if you're a guy, I personally would just stay away from these. They look like an alien spaceship kind of sneaker, sort of like a UFO, so that's why I'm not really that into them. But I will buy a pair in my size eventually to get a review out for you guys. But that is the Air Max 720 in the blue colorway. Yep. So let's get to the next sneaker. You right already now. know, you already know. Mm -hmm. I like we this. got the gold box. Cool. This was my favorite sneaker, I think, of the whole collection, just oh, wow. because this is my first time seeing them. Mm -hmm. But we got the BAM Chinese New Year 12s. You wanna tell them a little bit of Chinese New Year? It is the year of the pig this year. So that's actually my year, year of the smelly pig. And uh, I should, in theory, have to buy the shoe because it is Year of the Pig. But if you guys celebrate Chinese New Year, let me know which animal you are. And if it's Year of the Pig for your pig face, let me know in the comments too. So Tim, tell me why you like this shoe okay, so, so much. Okay, so honestly, the reason why I like this shoe so much is because it reminds me of a little bit of the Master 12s. Uh, but but more than the Masters, what was that shoe that you scraped off um, the paint? It was the... Uh, Oh, that were it they was like an Air Jordan 12, but whenever you scrape the paint, there was color. Oh, the there wings? Was the Air wing, 12 the wings. wing 12. Yeah, this yeah, one yeah. just remind me of, except it has this print. And so when, what Air Jordan, what Michael Jordan did when he was designing the shoe, mm -hmm. is Michael Jordan was like, Yo, let's make it more creative. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, material on the shoe, and it's very soft material. It's a satin it's, material. It's like a satin material. Mm -hmm. But if you get a razor blade and you cut this satin material, there is actually this colorful material underneath it, so you can. Uh, customize this shoe. So if you guys want Christian to buy this shoe off of me <laughs> and uh, customize them for you guys, y'all let him know because from tempted. this day forward, it's all entertainment, man. So that is Tim's favorite sneaker from the entire set. Now let's get to what I think is the ugliest sneaker from this Nike outlet haul. I am still in Air Jordan, however, Michael oh. Jordan, I don't, I don't, do you Why? Play in these? I'm not Why sure. Why Michael Jordan? Yo, Why? what in the world, Tinker? What, you know, Tinker, is you're the man. Is? Oh no, he probably didn't. I don't, I don't know. think he did. We'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll I think Tinker's I think Tinker's little cousin came out with these cuz boy, what were you thinking, man? Blinker Hatfield. We got uh we got patent leather on the on the toe box. Kind of reminds you of almost like a Jordan 11, mm -hmm. but with yeah. with all this chain mail, man. What were you thinking, bro? Like basketball ain't that serious, bro. Like nobody's coming at you with swords. I don't, I mean, I could see it could be innovative, it could be different, but mm -hmm. honestly, man. Oh, it's different, that's for sure. Whoo, I, I don't, bro. Like, it's like, to what? me, it's like they slapped on a soccer shin pad onto the front of the bro. shoe right here to protect your, your forefoot, but these are the Air Jordan 19, for those of you guys who don't know. I think the back of the shoe looks dope, but honestly, I'll yeah. just give them that Russell Westbrook uh, meme that, bro. What are you talking about, <laughs> All right, guys, so when we found this next shoe, next shoe, next shoe, I told Christian, I gotta cop every single thing in here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, dude, Christian comes down only like, once every month, yeah, and uh, so, <laughs> that sounds often. Awesome, so we had to bring him with the heat. We yeah, had to bring him with the fire. Which one are we bringing out? Tim? Honestly, you can pick. You can I'm pick. thinking of this one right here because this Christian. Okay. You know what I mean? Being away from home oh, a lot, he man. gets homesick. You know I what do. I mean? I do. He gets homesick. So like Kawhi Leonard, he's taking these back home mm -hmm. from San Antonio to back to Toronto. Bam! The Toronto Ooh. Raptor inspired fours in the colorway. Jump black, jump man on the front, purple on the back. Now, if you're from San Antonio, these were an easy grab. They were sitting on the shelves five ever. 
But if you're from Toronto, oh man, these sold out right away in Toronto. Bro. I had to pay resale for these. Bro. I paid 350 Canadian resale for these. Bro, joints. how are y'all gonna let the biggest sneaker guy in Toronto pay resale for these? Ouch. You know Why what I mean? I'm a subscriber too. <laughs> but anyways, bro, I mean, if you're from San Antonio, nobody wants these because it yeah. reminds me of our biggest L of the year, Kawhi <laughs> going to Toronto, and not to mention Danny oh, Green man. as well. So we got DeRozan. We but, got a good uh, trade. I think we're happy with the trade. At first, it broke everyone's heart. Like. Toronto was heartbroken when they had to see DeRozan go. But now that, you know, the, the, the storm has calmed down and the stats have piled up for Kawhi and uh, Danny Green, I'm pretty happy with the trade. So Air Jordan 4, Raptors, size eight. Uh, I'll be bringing these back home to Toronto. Might have to do a giveaway with these for like my Toronto meeting group before my Asia tour. But yeah. Asia tour? Yeah, it, coming soon. Can't, coming soon, we can't let too many people know. Is his last shoe. The heat of the oh century. Something that most of you kids just dreamed about in your sleep. Ooh. We got the Adrian 6 in front. You just ruined it. You just got, oh yes. <laughs> there. Oh my gosh. All right, honestly, bro. Honest opinion. Let's uh, hear, let's hear. Not a huge fan of the infrareds. What? I do because, yeah, I'm not what? I'm not a huge fan of this infrared. Why not? But but you know what? Um, Because I feel like Jordan hasn't been using the best material. I think mm -hmm. that if this would have been real suede, I yeah. think that if the red would have... I mean, they did make it more red than the previous release. Yeah, it was like pink. Um, I like the Nike Air on the back. I think it, you know, represents history, and, and mm -hmm. I think it's really a dope touch to it. But uh, honestly, man, I really like uh, those sixes that, with the darker red. Okay, the varsity red the sixes. varsity red sixes i'm a yeah. bigger fan of the varsity red sixes than these for sure and i mean they're clean don't get me wrong i'm just not not the biggest fan of the material for me i gotta say this was a must cop unfortunately i slept in the morning these released because i was on a little vacation with my girlfriend and i was not trying to uh, wake up too early when i have her so these uh -huh. I, you know you gotta have a breakfast in bed sometimes if you guys made it to the very end of the video, comment down below your favorite sneaker from this haul. Hit that like button and of course, subscribe. If this video can get 2,000 likes, which is very, very unlikely, we might have to do another buying every heat sneaker from the Nike outlet video and give some stuff away. So if you guys haven't yet seen Tim's video or my video on our main channels, Go link check it down out. below.